Hey guys, welcome back. In this one, I'm going to demonstrate how to reference the security on Quantopian. So there are actually two ways to reference securities in the IDE, and the first one is the SID function. Here, SID actually stands for Security ID. In real life, securities are typically referred to by their ticker symbol. However, in backtesting, this isn't always practical as a stock's ticker can change or a ticker can be reused if its stock becomes delisted. The SID function takes care of all of these mappings for you behind the scenes by referring to stocks by a security ID. The security ID serves as a robust reference to a security that doesn't change even if the ticker of that security changes. As an example, say I want to reference the Apple security, I can just type SID and then open bracket, and then the autocomplete will let me type in any security, so I can just go Apple, and then on the menu I can click Apple, which has SID24. Now, if I want to reference this later, I can just store it in a variable, say context.apple, and then down here in handle data, I can print it out. The other function that I can use to reference a security is symbol. The syntax of the symbol method is very similar to that of the SID method. I can just type symbol and then open bracket and then apple and then I can select it from the drop down menu. Now, unlike the SID method, the symbol method is not robust to ticker changes. Because of this, it's highly preferred to use the SID method. In a later lesson, we'll take a look at how to dynamically reference securities.